Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5 and some potential news that has come out. We're going to be breaking it all down. This is my first video of the new year, so thank you for sticking around in 2019. I had a little segment at the end of last video thanking you guys, but seriously, I want to just thank you again. And we are now 200 subs away from 100,000 subscribers. So we're getting even closer, slowly but surely. So hopefully we can reach that in the next few weeks or so. Be sure to subscribe if you are new and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year, so in 2020. Okay, today we're going to be talking about We Got This Covered Again. They have reported that Supergirl might be facing cancellation after this season or next. And we're going to talk about this. You guys know they are extremely unreliable. And so this guy, online on Twitter, and I got tagged in this, I think it was one of our fans who actually tagged, I can't remember, sorry, if you're watching this, I bet you were watching this, I'm sorry about that, but, basically, I got tagged on this thing on Twitter, right, and this guy, online, called Pierre, has been tracking We Got This Covered and all their scoops throughout the whole year. And he's found out that only 1.2% of their scoops, so their exclusive articles and their reporting, have been correct. And even then, some of those were just him being nice to them. So, I will have the link to the Twitter page actually in the description below, so you can see that they are extremely unreliable. And it definitely backs up my argument to do with this Supergo article that they released just yesterday, because it's... One of the many things that they keep on putting out, they keep on putting out that Supergirl is going to get cancelled. They've done that for so many seasons, they did that for Legends, they've done that for all the different shows, and every time they say something, they back it up with the same information, saying this is from sources close to We Got This Covered, blah blah blah. Basically, most of the stuff that they report is public information, so these scoops aren't actually real scoops, right? So that's in the case of other stuff, right? just very obvious stuff that they claim are scoops, which are not. However, they keep on posting these articles, for instance, on the Twitter thing, he mentions the fact that they have reported that Deadpool 3 will be R-rated three times, and they've claimed this as scoops, and they've reported it three times. If it was a real scoop, you would only report it once, right? So they've done that three times, so they keep on repeating themselves, they keep on doing this with Supergirl, with the DCTV shows saying, oh, sources close to We Got This Covered has said, you know, these shows are in danger. They've done that, I don't know, like five times, maybe even more of that on Supergirl. And it just happens to be that they do it like once every six months or something like that. And so they have an extreme amount of unconfirmed scoops. And like I said, go check out the Twitter thing. He's got a whole long sort of list of the reasons why you can't trust We Got This Covered. And so yeah, these unconfirmed scoops, because the majority of them can't actually be denied or confirmed at the time of reporting. So basically reporting on stuff that no one can actually say yes or no to, so they can claim it's scoops, even though, you know, there's no real information but no one can argue against that, and that's the same with this Supergirl stuff, because no one can argue against it, because obviously there is a sure possibility that maybe it could get cancelled or it could get axed sometime in the near future, that's the same for every show. However, they also can't confirm it, but they can say, Source as close to We Got This Covered has said that Supergirl could be in danger, like they've done for many years. So now let's go over to the article and actually read it. And also there was this other website that jumped on the gun called the Digital Weekly. And basically they just copied what they said and you know, they were like, oh, it could be facing cancellation. But you know, they're just taking information from We Got This Covered who we can't trust. Anyway, so this is what We Got This Covered has said in regards to Supergirl reportedly facing cancellation this season or the next as they titled it. So, according to our sources, the same ones who said an Arrow spin-off for Catherine McNamara was in the works back in March and that Kevin Conroy would be playing Kingdom Come Batman in Crisis, both of which ended up being true, Supergirl is expected to be canned in the near future. We're aware that we said the same thing about a year ago, but from what we understand these plans have been in place for a while now and the CW has just extended its lifespan a little bit. 
but it won't be around much longer and apparently the expectation is that it will either end after this season or failing that the next one. And so they go on to say, it's been on the cusp of cancellation for a while now and our sources are surprised it's made it this far. So let's talk about that last sentence just quickly, you know, we can laugh about this. So they say it's been on the cusp of cancellation for a while now and our sources are surprised it made it this far. The funny thing is, Supergirl is the fourth highest rated show on CW and it did the best in advertisements last year for the CW. That means it made the CW the most money. So why in God's earth would they want to cancel that? Why would they want to cancel a show that does them really, really well? Yes, there has been some rating drops, stuff like that, but it's still the fourth highest rated show did them really good in terms of advertisement. So this is a bunch of bullshit that they're spilling out in here. Sorry if I start ranting off a bit and, you know, if you don't like swearing, you can click off this video. All right, so let's go back to the first bit. So according to our sources, the classic line from We Got This Covered, they go on to say, the same ones who said an Arrow spin-off for Catherine McNamara was in works back in March and that Kevin Conroy would be playing Kingdom Come Batman in Crisis, both of which ended up being true. And I have to really emphasize this. The thing that they use to actually confirm that their sources are real is the same damn thing that they put in every single article to try and back up their sources. You know, when it's to do with DCTV, they always claim it's their sources close to them and, you know, the fact that they confirmed these scoops. But we knew about this. We knew that Kevin Conroy was going to be playing Batman in Crisis because they announced that. And that was just pure speculation by We Got This Covered. Like many of us have speculated that, you know, a Kingdom Come or like a, you know, live action version of Batman would eventually show up probably in Crisis. And the fact that the Arrow spin-off has been talked about for fucking ages before March, it's just them speculating and then it's them saying the same lines, the same two things. This happened in the article the other day where I talked about, what was it, mon -El. They said this exact same thing, they've copied and pasted it, and they're like, yeah, this is why you can trust us. No, you can't trust them because that was them speculating and it got later confirmed. It didn't get confirmed by them. So... That's my little rant as in regards to them trying to back up their sources. And so it goes on to say, Supergirl is expected to be canned in the near future. We're aware that we said the same thing about a year ago, but from what we understand, these plans have been in place for a while now, and the CW has just extended its lifespan a little bit. So they're so confident, they're like, Supergirl is expected to be canned in the near future. And then they go on to say, we're aware we said the same thing about a year ago. Literally going back on yourself, being like, yes, we are unreliable because we said this a year ago. But then they try and back themselves up by saying, oh, we understand now. Finally now, even though we reported it a year ago that Supergirl was going to get cancelled after last season, it could be cancelled this season or next season. And that's pure speculation because obviously their sources are extremely unreliable. And any show could be cancelled in two seasons. It doesn't have to be just Supergirl or something. It could be The Flash, the best show on the CW in terms of ratings and everything like that. That could be cancelled in two seasons. It could be any show. And also just the fact that they have been talking about how, you know, they're going to can the show. They're not canning any of these CW shows. They do really well for them. And the fact that they would even consider canning Supergirl before ending it the only reason Supergirl would stop would be if they ended it because it, it does the CW so well. Why on earth would they cancel it if there wasn't a reason? Because there is no reason to cancel it. There is literally nothing. The CW gets money, they get paid, they have a show that lots of people watch. What's the problem? There is no problem there and there has to be a real reasoning behind a TV network cancelling a show and there is no problems right now because it's doing the CW really well. So the fact that they're so confident and saying, oh, it's going to get canned in the near future, this complete bullshit. And so these plans have been in place for a while now and CW has just extended its lifespan. So why, if they have plans, why would they extend it? Why wouldn't they just cancel it then? So that's just them. We got this covered, sort of trying to cover their asses, but you know, it's not real. And then the final bit that they go on to say is really, really funny, but it won't be around much longer. And apparently, apparently, 
the expectation is that it will either end after this season or failing that the next one. If they want to can it and if they're planning to be canning it since last year, why the fuck would they not cancel it this year? You're just backing yourself up saying, or oh, it could be the next one just in case our report is wrong so we can do this article again next year. That is literally the definition of bullshitting. You're just saying it could get cancelled this year according to our sources or next year according to our sources. That could be any show like I said. So that's just them being who they are. But anyway, so that is about it for this video. So the moral of the video is don't trust we got this covered. Check out the Twitter link in the description below because it has a whole thread of how unreliable they are. There's stats, there's pie charts and everything. And yeah, Supergirl is not getting cancelled. If it ends, it will be because Melissa wants to stop. It will be because the showrunners want to stop. It won't be because it's getting cancelled. That's the moral of the story. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.